Week two of the high school football season got underway tonight. Our game of the week took us to Gladstone, where the Braves finally got to take the field, hosting Nagani for their season and home opener. The Braves playing in their first game, coming off a two-week quarantine. Let's head to Marble Field. Nagani starting quarterback Will Luke would exit the game in the first quarter due to an apparent collarbone injury. Insert Gerald Johnson. He's going to throw a strike to Philip Nelson, who is wide open for the score. That's going to make it 14 nothing Miners as the first quarter ends. Braves is going to get their answer. Cam Kelly under center. And he's going to keep it on the quarterback keeper. Look at Kelly take it to another gear. He heads down the sideline and is untouched as he crosses the goal line, looking like a star track athlete. It's 14-6 Miners still in the second quarter. Kelly saying, hey, I got an arm as well. He drops back and... Tosses one up into the bread basket of Cam Ballard. That's going to tie things up at 14. Now, Miners, they would find the end zone once again, but Gladstone would go punch to punch or punch for punch with Nagani tonight. Ryan Pauly with a nice cut back here. He's going to hit Hader from 14 yards out, standing upright. Now, this game was back and forth. It was a grinding type of game, but it's Gladstone coming out on top 22 to 20. It's exhilarating. I'm ecstatic. I don't have enough superlatives to talk about how it feels to be together with our team, especially with all of the adversity that we've had to go through with being on quarantine, having our practice disrupted. The guys really rallied up. It took us about a quarter to figure out that we were playing a football game. But then once we did it, I think that you saw a lot of grit and resilience from our kids, and they just went out and made plays. So I couldn't be happier for our kids and our program and our community right now. Congrats to Gladstone on their victory tonight. Wishing the Braves good health moving forward. Let's go now to Marquette. The Redmen hosting Sault Ste. Marie. Marquette up 9-0 in the third quarter, but the Blue Devils going to get it going. Emmett Fazari with a strong run here, fighting off tacklers, and he's into the end zone. The Sioux would convert the two-point conversion to make it 9-8 Marquette. Let's stay in the third. Blue Devils threatening once again. John Robinson going to bull his way into the end zone. Sault Ste. Marie with 16 unanswered points at 16-9 Blue Devils. With time winding down in the third quarter, Marquette's Austin Riddle with the dart to Cameron Karp comes down with an amazing catch as he gets both feet down in the back of the end zone. Marquette would tie it up at 16, but it's the Sioux making the plays down the stretch. Sioux St. Marie tops Marquette 22 to 16. Iron Mountain hosting Bark River Harris. This one was all Mountaineers from the opening kickoff. And as you can see right here, this is just one big play of many made by the Mountaineers tonight. Iron Mountain, they go on to win big 41 to 6 over Bark River Harris. How about some eight player football? Engadine against Rapid River. First quarter, no score. Bryce Lundquist with the bomb to Mason Kudlik. And this is only the beginning for the Rockets as they go up 8 0. It's now 16 zip Rapid River. Engadine looking to get it going. Check out this INT by Max Lineker showing the hops while attacking the ball in the air. The Rockets, they're back in business. Not too long later, Lundquist with the beautiful ball to Griffin Flath. Rock, the Rockets offense. Clicking tonight, Rapid River going to roll at 48-6 over Engadine. More scores for you tonight. The game between Calumet and Gwynn ends 27-0 Copper Kings. That one got called at halftime due to weather. West Iron County top launch 16-7. Houghton versus Hancock ends at a 0-0 tie. Another game called due to weather. In the eight-player league, Pickford blanks Cedarville 20-0. And Forest Park, they had a forfeit tonight. Carney Nato gets credited the win. Rebecca, back to you.